boy, this autograph picture business is a gold mine. I've sold over 200 heck bar photos, but the most popular is John from Arkansas. They are selling like hotcakes. And 90% of the buyers are ladies. That old coot must possess a complex sex appeal. Who would have guessed? To Cindy. John from Arkansas. Would you like a drink, sir? Yes, honey. Can you bring me two beers? Yes, sir. Right away. Wow, she's hot. To Susan. Love you, baby. John from Arkansas. Two beers, sir. Thanks, sweetie pie. Here, keep the change. Oh, thank you, kind sir. Marry my love. I'm all yours. Johnny from Arkansas. It's almost Buzz's birthday. I need to get him something good so I can continue living in his house rent-free and consume free food and whiskey. Let me look on eBay. Wow, look at that! A new old stock 7JP4. I'm going to order that. With all the money I'm making off John's photos, John is actually buying it. It's so sweet. The 2017 Potato Queen buying the 2017 Potato King a birthday present. Buzz will be pleased. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I didn't know I had company. Hello, everybody. This is Buzz1151. And before we start today's video, I just wanted to say a couple things. Now, you probably can see this box here in front of me, and you're probably wondering what the hell that is. Well, this contains a picture tube, a 7JP4. And I was walking out my door this morning, and you can imagine my surprise when there it was on the steps. So I opened it up and found this note in here, and I'd like to read this note right now. The note says, Happy Birthday Buzz! Your buddy, John from Arkansas, Potato Queen 2017. Alright, John! I can't believe this! I don't give a damn, John, what your wife says about you. You're alright! We're gonna open this box and put this in the uh, TV and we're gonna test it. I can hardly wait. God damn, John. All right. Wifey, she calls me jerk. <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is. Wow. Made by Delco. Delco Radio, 7JP4. Television picture tube. A General Motors product. A United Motors line. Get that box open. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Hurry it up, will you? I think this is awfully exciting. Looks brand new. Looks as good as new now, eh? This needs closer examination. In fact, it needs a nightgown. Brand spanking new. There it's stamped. 7JP4. Blasted newfangled inventions. That is one sweet tube. How sweet it is. Okay. Let's stick this in the TV, shall we? Man, this is gonna be great. 
Welcome to part four of this uh, 1948 Holocrafters TV. It's been a while since I had this TV on. And uh, I had to tweak this quite a bit just to get that picture dialed in there. This is running without the brightener. I rewired the connection there because I'm going to put the new tube in here. So you're looking at the old tube without the brightener. Looks like Maverick's on. Starring James Garner and Jack Kelly. Produced Used to watch this Warner when I was a kid. On Sunday nights. I remember it well. While I was trying to dial in that picture earlier, I was swapping some tubes and uh, old Buzz made a fatal mistake here. <laughs> I took this uh, 12 SN7 and there's a bunch of them on here. And I took the one, this one here, took it out of this socket and stuck it in here and swapped these two tubes. Well, this tube here is a 25L6 <laughs> audio tube. So I had the uh, 12 volt tube in the 25 volt socket and it smoked it. So I'm down one tube. Oh, brother! Oh, I'm a bonehead sometimes. I'll tell you. What a dope! Let's take this out of here. It's the old tube. Here's the new one. All right. Let me lower the camera down. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Here we go. I'm not gonna make a big to-do out of it. I'm just gonna power it on. Here we go. If this thing smokes, I'm gonna tear my hair out. Holy crap! Ooh. Talk about bright, huh? Oh. Holy crap, I need sunglasses on. Wow, what a difference, huh? I'll say! Don't watch TV in the dark. Let's turn the light on and see what it looks like with the light on. Who is the tall, dark stranger there? Maverick is the name. Riding the trail to who knows where. Luck is his companion. Gambling is his game. Smooth as a handle on a gun, Maverick is the name. While as a wind in the What a difference a tube makes, huh? Up a canyon, easier to tame. Riverboat, ring your bell. Farewell, Annabelle. Luck is a lady that he loves the best. Let me see if I can get a nice close shot of the screen. New Orleans, living on 
Jackson, Queens. Maverick is a legend. Pretty damn good, huh? Riverboat, ring your bell. Featherwell, Annabelle. Luck is a lady that he loves the best. That's to New Orleans. Living on Jackson, Queens. Maverick is a legend of the West. Should we zap this one just in case? No! From the entertainment capital of the world, produced for television by Warner Brothers. Now here's something we hope you'll really like. Wants you to meet the family. Known as the real McCoy. From 1957 to 1963, we used to watch this TV show, The Real McCoys. From West Virginia, they came to stay in sunny California. Oh, Grandpappy Amos and the girls and the boys of the family, known as the real McCoys. In this episode from 1959, the McCoys want to buy a TV, but can't afford one. Watch this clip. Maybe an apple box to set on. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the show. Yeah, I thought it was real keen. It was even better than last week's. I'm sorry to have to turn off the picture, but I'm getting ready to close. <laughs> oh, we want to thank you. Uh, we'll probably be seeing you next Thursday night. <laughs> you folks sure like television. You ever thought of buying a set? Oh, yeah. yeah there's only, uh, only one thing stopping us. What's that? Do you live in a fringe area? No, a poor area. <laughs> I'm afraid we just don't have the money. Oh, now, television sets aren't that expensive. Any family with an average income can afford one. Yeah, well, if our income ever gets average, we'll stop by and see you. <laughs> oh, gee. Now, little Luke, we'll get a television set sometime, as soon as we can afford it. Well, what about the $15 from the billboard company for letting them put up their sign? Oh, little Luke, don't be silly. We couldn't buy a set for that. Oh, yes, you could. This one right over here. I've got it in the window for display, showing one of the first TV sets. Does that TV look familiar? Yes. You can have it for $15. You mean we could have that one? That's right. Oh, boy! I think we ought to buy it. Me too. And now, wait a minute, everybody. The set works well. I'll guarantee that. It's not that. It's just, well, where this much money is concerned, everybody in the family has to have a say-so. And... But there's one member we haven't even talked to yet, Luke. Well, you leave Grandpa to me. I'll just tell him how much we all want it. But Luke... Now, just let me handle it. Uh, mister, we'll be back tomorrow night after supper with the money for you. That's fine. I'll expect you. Good. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Golly, we got a television set. We'll be all a big show. <laughs> yeah, when I come home with a bad report card, I'll have a good excuse like all the other kids. <laughs> In the episode, Walter Brennan, who plays Grandpa, wants to spend the $15 on a chainsaw, causing a big kerfuffle in the family. What happened to the money? Well, ask Grandpa. I think he's ready to talk now. Of course I took that money. Anybody can tell me where I've done wrong, go right ahead. Yeah, well, if it wasn't for Grandpa, right now we'd be watching that show with them private eye fellas. You know, I can almost hear the music from that show right now. I hear it too. What's going on? In the end, Grandpa, feeling guilty, pawns his watch and buys the TV. Here's a shot of the TV with Grandpa twiddling the knobs. Why did he 
So there it is, the McCoy's first TV, a late 40s helicrafters just like mine, for 15 bucks. What a bargain. I hope most of you enjoyed that clip there of the real McCoy's. It's a funny thing, uh, when watching that as a kid, man, I thought Walter Brennan is an old geezer, man. In 1959, he was only 65. And I'm 67. I'm older than Walter Brennan. Damn. Just call me Grandpa. Gee, Walter Brennan. Well, Peanut here wanted to say goodbye to everybody out there. It's been a while since everybody's seen Peanut. She's gotten a little bit chunky. She likes to eat. Don't ya? you? Want a treat? Hmm? Want a treat? No, so you're back there. There you go. She has to have her treat every morning after breakfast. Aww. Don't you? Say goodbye to everybody. Say goodbye, Peanut. Say goodbye. On my next video, I think I'm going to wrap this up. Good. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to change a lot of these resistors here. Change what needs to be changed and uh, get it back in the cabinet for a final view. And before I leave, I just want to say one more thing. Thanks, John, for the tube. Till next time, this is Buzz. Ladies and gentlemen, while supplies last, get your own John from Arkansas Bobblehead. <laughs> Only $195.95. Free shipping. Get yours today. Another gush in the roof. <laughs> What's that? Uh, what did he say? <laughs>